Hello up bags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to another Fallout 76. We've only literally got a few minutes probably by the time you're watching this video and the Bethesda News Conference has leaked exactly, well not leaked, it's shown what Fallout 76 is really going to be. We're going to know the answers to the online. We're going to know if it's going to be a massively online game. So much is going to be answered during that press conference. However, at Xbox press conference today, an early one, they revealed the full Fallout 76 trailer. This is the full bit, this is the full thing, not just the teaser. It is crazy. We're going to be going through this. I want to take a look through this. It's absolutely mental. The game is definitely set way before the other Fallout games. We kind of knew that from all the dates set in the Pip-Boy and some of the other clues. And it really is about Reclamation Day. The game is going to be four times bigger than a Fallout 4 game, no Fallout 4 game, four times bigger, it's got flying creatures in it, it's got a brand new host of brand new locations, look how gorgeous it looks, look how pretty it is, we're going to slow down stuff in a second, we're going to take a look at individual pieces of this, but it looks absolutely amazing, now obviously this is a high-end PC, but you can bet it's going to look maybe just as good on an Xbox X as well, and you can see just from how varied it is, it's not going to be this dry, desolate desert wasteland the nuclear bombs haven't had time to set their radiation and kill off all the plants yet they've only sort of done you know structural damage and stuff like that there's all going to be different places what i took away from this most look how many different characters are walking around i'm going to reiterate i'm going to put my money where my mouth is again it is going to be a online multiplayer game. Not just four players, not just eight players, but something bigger than that. I really do believe it's going to be bigger than that. Like the original rumour was, I think it's going to be something like Rust. You can see the way the customizations, the characters all look completely different. Is that really just to highlight the fact it's just one story person? I think it's still going to have all the stuff you'd expect from a Fallout game. Story beats, off adventures, little you know, run around quests that you can do, but it will have this base building aspect. It is going to be a big online game. I can't wait. So well, let's get into it a little bit more. And then hopefully by the time you've watched this, the press conference would have started. So definitely one of them things that struck me most is the variation in the creatures. We're not just going to be fighting death claws anymore or ghouls. There's going to be a lot more varied, you know, things in it. Now, I know there were quite a few different creatures spread across all the Fallout games, but it looks like they're really going to be just filled with it. It has to be as well. If it's going to be four times the size, it's got to have variation in the mobs, in the bad guys, in the NPCs that you might come across as well. Now, they didn't show anything like that, story quest givers or anything like that. It looked really, to me, just focusing in on this online aspect now some people were summarizing that the posters they've been shown at the e3 conference show free pit boys or free uh, you know nuketown boys nukoda boys so that just means it might just be a four player co-op game but i really don't believe that it's desolate the world has been destroyed the world has been taken apart by nuclear bombs but it isn't just awful awful yellow colors you can see there's so much more to it what was that creature that doesn't look like a Deathclaw to me, unless it's like a variation. Maybe it's Deathclaw without its horns. Maybe it hasn't been evolved or mutated as much yet. Where has this creature come from since it's only been 25 years since the nuclear war started? Were they experimenting on these creatures in different vaults? You'll have to fill me in on some of the backstory, the back lore, if that is the case. Because where did these creatures come from? And if it's not a Deathclaw, what creature is it? They look pretty tasty. It looks pretty big. It looks like it could do a lot of damage with them huge fists of itself. Just running around like a massive ape. Now, throughout lots of rumours as well, they've spoken about how they're celebrating the tricentenary, like an imaginary 300 years of American independence or 300 years of America as a country. And it looks like it's going to be infiltrating a lot of the game. So going out there just fits in with everything with reclaiming the land, with this massive multiplayer aspect of it. And it's this clip here that makes me think it's going to be bigger than just simply a two-player or three-player co-op game. Because they're different characters again. They're different characters dressed differently going across the same piece of kit. Now, yes, that may just be a case of them having like three characters. If we watch it one more time, you've got the one, you've got the two, and then you've got the three. So I guess it could signify it's only a three-player co-op game. 
But I just don't think so. I just really do believe it's going to have this massive online component. And if it doesn't, well, I won't be too sad. At least we'll be able to play this huge map with friends and it will be something you can do. And I guess it will be open to randoms if you want it to be. But I really do hope it is like Rust. I think a game like this would be amazing if it was a massively online game. And I've said that plenty of times. Go and check out the rest of my videos. I've been getting a lot of hate for it from the Fallout community. But it's just an opinion and that's what I want from a game. I'd love to play a survival game that has that in it. And then lastly, the next creature that really caught my eye was this one. Well, I say lastly, we've got the flying one that we're going to be taking a look at as well. But what is it? It's kind of moving around quite slowly, quite cautiously. It looks like a Komodo dragon covered in ash and fire. And obviously the set in there looks like it's quite radiation filled that almost looks like it's a right imperial sort of structure maybe something that's really important inside one of these towns i mean it looks a bit like something that's in washington state but i don't think it's set in that area so what is it is it just a town hall but definitely really creepy looking this creature and then look at this got great big machineries factories all the sort of normal stuff you expect this has been freaking people out the most the flying creature it strikes me as really odd that in only 25 years since the nuclear bombs have gone off, all these creatures have risen. So they must have been being worked on by the government somehow in secret laboratories and the mutations from the nuclear fallout has just made them go even mad. But have we had big huge flying creatures like this in the game before? I don't think so. I don't remember there being any. Correct me if I'm wrong if there's like smaller bat-like creatures or got the blowflies in Fallout 4 and stuff like that. But nothing huge, nothing like big that may come down and swoop on you and you can see he's got a great big chain gun as well which looks pretty interesting it's going to be nuts being attacked from anywhere in the air occasionally like these big creatures and then you've got the usual sort of stuff you've got nuka town boy you've got the robots the automatrons walking around as well quite different ones there and that then looked like a the white house sort of style building i know i'm really not too clued up on american history architecture so definitely correct me but it looks nuts the suit looks like it does in fallout 3 as well it's going to be hype i can't wait to see what's going to be happening and if you're watching this video after all has been told and all been revealed you can tell me i was wrong you can tell me it's only a free player cop i'll take it on the chin it was just something i really wanted coming from the angle of playing lots of survival games like arc survival evolved and conan exiles and i just imagined if a big developer even though bethesda have produced lots of buggy games and glitchy games it would still be amazing to have a triple a publisher make the survival game that i like playing like arc like conan so i really still hope it's true let me know what you think about it are you hyped now you've seen the full reveal of this are you just still waiting is this going to come out just in time maybe you've not seen what actually has been happening Four times bigger the map is going to be than Fallout 4. It's going to have brand new creatures in it and it looks like it's going to either have very heavy customization or it's showing off that there is definitely going to be more than three or four player co-op. Future will only tell. I am Joe Blaze Games. This has been another Fallout 76 video. Let me know in the comment section what you think and I'll see you rat bags for another one very soon.